My name is Jonathan Saunders. I'm Chief Creative Officer of Diane Van Fustenberg. Sotheby's asked me to select some of my favourites from um, an upcoming auction of prints and multiples. I never had the notion of becoming a fashion designer. I wasn't growing up sketching dresses all day. But I was always fascinated by materials and the combinations of materials. I loved making things with my hands from a very early age, but very process-led, I guess. Every season is very multifaceted in terms of reference points. There's definitely a recurring visit to certain artists' work. Warhol's probably the closest to the way that I love to work. Flat colour, screen printed, misregistration to create new colour combinations that weren't planned or expected. I started learning about screen printing at Glasgow School of Art, physically screen printing almost every day for about four years. I just love it. It's very spontaneous, it's very physical, and there's also things you can't control in it. When you screen print a particular colour, the next colour that goes on top of that, the misregistration of it creates a crossover, creates another colour. The accident, it's a lovely accident because it adds depth to the print, it adds a three-dimensional quality, and it creates something that you couldn't plan. When I think of Basquiat, I think of that moment in New York in the 70s and 80s where creativity was spawned, the grit of the city, but also the beauty. It's diversity, the combination of colours, the playfulness, but actually it's a bit frightening. And the spontaneity of all of the line can also look quite aggressive. The collision of that creates such a beautiful body of work. Chargal is quite personal for me. It was my first ever art book that I bought. I think it was about eight or nine years old and I found it in a second-hand shop in Glasgow in Scotland. And the cover of this book was Trampled Flowers. I think what I was drawn to was the dreaminess of it all and the uncomfortable nature of that colour. Using these kind of acidic but beautiful combination of colours together is a very similar feeling that I got from that painting a long time ago. What I love about Frank Stella's work and how it's been quite influential is the simplicity of all of the forms that he used, but also the complexity of it when there was depth in the collage. When it becomes three-dimensional, it all of a sudden relates to the shape of a body or how it would translate into something when it was worn as a garment. Producing a collection or any body of work as a creative, I think you start with the top level kind of atmosphere or what you want to create. But I love the process. I'm fascinated by how you can use these very simplistic, almost industrial techniques to create something beautiful. Ta-da! Look at that creation. <laughs> Start again.